हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इंटरफियरेंस इन थिन फिल्म ड्यू टू रिफ्लेक्टेड लाइट एंड द थिन फिल्म इज ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म थिकनेस वी विल बी डिराइविंग एन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर पाथ डिफरेंस ऑफ सेम लेट अस बिगिन दिस इज आर थिन फिल्म ऑफ थिकनेस टी एंड refractive index mu here we have a source of monochromatic light from which light is incident on this thin film and partially it is reflected and partially it is refracted inside the surface of refractive index mu when it gets refracted part of it will be reflected back in the same medium and the rest will be transmitted out this is our ray diagram for interference of thin film of thickness t refractive index mu what are the necessary conditions for fringe pattern to occur in interference is monochromatic source of light coherent sources and path difference let us see how we will get that in this diagram now we will draw perpendiculars in order to find an expression for path difference let us begin first we will draw a perpendicular and make this as angle of i that is angle of incidence since this has got refracted in the media so this becomes our angle r now we will see a b is the incident light b d is the refracted light d e is that same light which has been reflected in the same medium and now it is coming out as e f and this becomes b c now perpendicular dropped here is d n from e we will drop a perpendicular on this ray and name the perpendicular e h so the path difference is b h which is the reason for fringe formation here here if our human eye is here we will see fringes here now b and e are my coherent sources b e are the coherent sources which are necessary conditions for interference of light to occur a is my monochromatic source of light and this b h is my path difference which i am going to find out so that i can find the maxima and minima of my fringe pattern so let us begin see what is path difference how much extra has the other ray traveled that is difference so path difference is equal to bd plus de in the medium minus b h in air here this medium is air and this is refractive index so it becomes b d plus d e in the film minus b h in air b h in air so this is my expression for path difference now since this is having a refractive index mu so mu is b d plus d e minus b h let us look at the triangles b n d triangle b n d is similar to triangle n d e both have common side nd where nd or dn is thickness of the thin film this angle and this angle is same and the perpendicular has been dropped so that is why bn and ne will also be same so they being similar triangles 
BD will be equal to DE. So I can write that path difference is equal to 2 mu BD minus BH. Now this expression we have to simplify further. So B will find a simple expression for BD and BH. In order to do that, we will find three triangles here which will simplify this expression further and we can write it in a more simpler form. How? For BD, let us begin. BD, it is very easy. BD, let us take triangle BDN. Triangle BDN. What is the formula for cosine of an angle? Base upon hypotenuse. So cos R. Cos R is equal to cos R is equal to D N upon B D. Which implies B D is equal to D N upon cos R. What is dn? It is the thickness of the thin film. So this is equal to T upon cos R. Now BD becomes equal to T upon cos R here. What is left to be evaluated? BH. In order to evaluate this BH, we will take triangles BHE. BHE. Triangle B H E. Here we will take sine of this angle of incidence that is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So sine I is equal to B H upon B E, which implies B H is equal to B. E sine I. Now this B E can be further simplified. See B E is equal to B N plus N E. So instead of this B E I can write B H is equal to B N plus N E sine I. The two triangles are similar. So BN and NE are equal. So I can write this expression as BH is equal to 2 BH is equal to 2 times BN sine I. Now we will further simplify BN. How? We will take triangle BDN, which here BN upon DN is equal to tan R. So BN is equal to DN tan R. What is DN? Thickness of the thin film. So BN becomes equal to T times tan R. Now we will put this value of BN here in this expression of BH and then this BH value we will put here for the path difference formula. For Path difference to mu T upon cos R from here and this BH we are going to put from here 2 into BN is T tan R sin I. So we will put these two values which we have evaluated in this expression of path difference. So now our expression for path difference becomes equal to Path difference becomes equal to 2 mu BD was T 
अपॉन कॉस आर टी थिकनेस ऑफ द थिन फिल्म अपॉन कॉस आर माइनस बी एच विच इज टू टी टैन आर साइन आई नाउ वी विल सिंप्लीफाई दिस एक्सप्रेशन फर्दर यूजिंग स्नेल्स लॉ एंड टैन थीटा इज इक्वल टू साइन थीटा अपॉन कॉस थीटा so because our target is to find maxima and minima of this thin film so we will simplify the expression further 2 mu t upon cos r minus 2 t sin r upon cos r into sin i what we will do is we will multiply the numerator and denominator by sin i here we are doing this so that 2 mu 2 uh, t upon cos r becomes common snell's law gets introduced and we can easily use the formula cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 so we are just doing a very small step of manipulation that means 2 mu t upon cos r minus 2 t sin r upon cos r into sin i upon sin r into sin r we have manipulated it that means just multiplied and divided it by this term which we can do in maths it is allowed now my expression becomes equal to 2 mu t upon cos r into 1 minus sin square r we have used mu equal to sin i upon sin r snell's law and then we get this sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta so this becomes equal to 2 mu t upon cos r into cos square r this cuts gets cut and we get path difference is 2 mu t cos r now this is an important expression but since the wave is getting reflected from a denser medium from stokes law this path difference will suffer an additional path difference of lambda by 2 hence the total path difference for thin films in reflected light are 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2 this lambda by 2 has come from stokes law now we will find the maxima and minima of this see path difference for maxima for constructive interference will this path difference will be an even multiple of lambda by 2 so this becomes 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2 even multiple is 2 n into lambda by 2 so for bright fringes to occur 2 mu t cos r is equal to 2 n plus 1 lambda by 2 where n is equal to 0 1 2 etc and 2 mu t cos r is equal to 2 n minus 1 lambda by 2 where n is 1 2 3 and so on now for minima or destructive interference this will become an odd multiple of lambda by 2 so 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2 is equal to 2 n minus 1 lambda by 2 that is we open the expression we get 2 mu t cos r is equal to 2 n lambda by 2 minus lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 so this becomes equal to n lambda is 2 mu t cos r for minima this is the expression for 
minima and here n is 0 1 2 3 etc n is 0 1 2 etc now see this is giving us maxima and minima when the thickness of this thin film is zero we will get minima and the film will appear dark but as the thickness will gradually increase maxima and minima will occur alternately thank you